Good morning. Welcome to City News 24-7. I'm Faiza Amin. We're expecting to hear from some of the province's top ministers on the future of supervised drug consumption sites. And what is announced later today could bring changes here in the GTA. Our Karen Seolan joins us now with the latest. Karen, you reached out to the province. What are you learning about this announcement? Well, Faisa, the Premier's office has now confirmed to me that Health Minister Sylvia Jones will be announcing more details on new restrictions around uh, safe consumption sites in the province when she speaks to the Association of Municipalities of Ontario in Ottawa this afternoon. Now, the new rules will include banning consumption sites within 200 metres near schools and child care centres, as well as what the province is calling addiction recovery supports with new treatment hubs. Premier Doug Ford, he has spoken in the past about the need for more of an emphasis on treatment and rehabilitation for people with addictions. He made his position clear yet again uh, earlier this month. Have a listen. I'll be very frank. I'm not sold on these safe injection sites that are in neighborhoods that needles are all flown around. It's a haven for drug dealers, in my opinion. Let's get these people the support they need, build more detox beds. And I know our, our minister will be making an announcement shortly uh, regarding that. Now, the restrictions come in the wake of last summer's shooting death of an innocent bystander and mother of two who was struck by a stray bullet outside the Queen Street East safe injection site where I am uh, this morning. Some of the people who live in this neighborhood, they told me that they believe safe consumption sites are a vital part of the city's response to drug use, but they also need to be balanced with community safety. Here's what they told me. Well, I think it's important for a community to cater to anyone who lives in it, right? And they're just as much our neighbors as, you know, the folks who live in houses here. I'm supportive, but with lots of audit oversight. I'm actually a, a nurse myself, and it, harm reduction is a part of what our job is, and um, people are going to use whether there's safe injection sites or not. Yeah, I, I mean, I understand it's, it's important, uh, the facilities, but it's also important the people who live around those facilities are also safe things are safer than people just doing things on their own, right? So I guess to answer your question probably would be opposed to restricting them. Now, there are 10 safe in, uh, injection sites here in Toronto. Most of them are in the downtown core, and six of them are provincially designated, meaning that they receive funding from the Ontario government. Given that this injection site is located within 150 metres of two schools and several daycare centres, its future at this location, FISA, is unclear under the new rules. Okay, and we will be hearing from provincial officials as well as getting uh, responses to that later today. Karen Seal, and thank you so much for this.